Is that one of the best goals that you've ever scored? Yeah, maybe. Um, I guess just working all three zones. Um, you know, I was obviously happy with blocking the shot, and um, you know, it just goes to show when you do stuff like that, it can pay off. As soon as you blocked the shot, did you realize what was ahead of you in terms of the, the ice? Um, yeah, I knew I had a chance. Um, uh, they were, the D were kind of spread out there a little bit, so I knew I had a little bit of a chance to get a break. And um, you know, like, like I said, lucky enough, it just stayed in, uh, stayed in my feet, and uh, I got to whack it. In. It was bouncing around though a little bit, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, like I think I had one hand on it. I tried to just chip it in and ended off going uh, lefty skate on and hit his chest, and then went in between my feet. So it was all over the place. You've uh, you've always been so even keel for us post game practices where but. Do you get excited at all about what you've been able to accomplish so far this year? Yeah, obviously I'm happy, but um, you know I realize there's still a lot of work to be done, and uh, you know I'm just trying to come in and get better every day. Was he pulling the trigger on that shot between your legs, or are you just? I mean, realistically, what are you hoping for? Do you think there's something there? Or are you just trying to? Get something on that and see what happens. Yeah, I think with a play like that, that's all you can do. Um, you know, I knew Luke was on my right side going harder than that, so I knew uh, if, uh, if I got on that, something good might happen. As, you know, as hard as you were working, you know, all three zones on that, it is one against two. <coughs> the guys are bigger. Um, there was going to be a penalty. I mean, were you surprised at all that it stuck with you and you, it didn't just. Yeah, you didn't go down, or the puck didn't go higher. Yeah, um, you know my strength uh, against bigger guys. Obviously, if, if I want to play at this level, uh, that's something that I had to work on in the summer. So, um, you know, I focused on it a lot in the summer, and um, you know, it paid off obviously on that play. Do so you can feel it on a play like that? Or? Yeah, um, you know, I think you realize your strength um, in plays like that, situations like that, and um, after that, I felt more confident down low in the third period. So it helped that way as well. Could you sense that the team needed a psychological boost? A lot of your teammates were saying the team was flat before you made that play. Yeah, um, I definitely. Um, you know, we picked up our game there after that, and uh, um, but you know, it just goes to show how good we can play, and um, you know, we, we shouldn't wait for stuff like that to happen to uh, get going. Anybody say anything? Pretty cool to you when you got over to the bench or on the ice afterwards. Yeah, um, you know, Bergie was one of the first to uh, congratulate me, so it's always pretty cool when a guy like that uh, says something to you like that. So, uh, you know, he's a, he's a great guy. What did he say? He just said it was a, it was a sick, uh, sick play. And, um, you know, uh, he's one of the guys that talks to me all the time, and um, you know, he's making me more confident. In the world. You looking forward to doing some video work tomorrow? And checking that one out. Yeah, maybe I'll replay it once or twice. We'll see though. You gonna watch the highlights all night? No, I'm not one of those guys. So. <laughs> what, if, what if it made like play of the day? That'd be yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll watch it a, a few times if it does that. Yeah.